So remember last week, um, everyone's going to get a chance, so don't talk over each other, please. What did we do last week? What did we talk about? We can start here and go around. Um, we talked about friendship. Okay. We talked about like how each other feel about like being, you know, like the drama and stuff like that. Okay. We talked about angry. Yes. We talked about our emotions. Yes. Um. I forgot the word. Just say what you remember. What? What did we talk about? Feelings. Good. So last week we also talked about bullying, right? Remember yes. you guys were role playing with Mrs. Majesty and um, trying not to start drama. And if someone comes to you with drama, walking away. So this week we're going to talk about people in the background of drama. And those are called, so if you're standing off to the side and you see someone getting bullied or you see drama happen, happening, what does that mean? What are you when you're standing off to the side? Just a witness. A witness? Shakaya. Go ahead. A part of it. That's you you're a witness, so you're part of it because you're seeing what's happening. Um we're also that also you're also a bystander. So another word for witness is bystander. Bystander is just a person who is standing off to the side and they witness what's happening. Right? So if you're witnessing something that's happening, like bullying or someone being aggressive to another person, what could you do? What are some of the things you could do? Go ahead. Um, walk away or tell a teacher. Okay. Or you could like just like, you know, distract the person that's like getting bullied. Like, all right, come over here. Let's go talk about this to get them away from the situation. Okay. That's, a, that's good. You could talk them out of the situation. That's good. Try to make them forget about what's happening and just move on from the situation. Um, so give me an example. From this group, we've had some situations arise last week, right? So what's something that you could have done? We fought last week. Not everyone, but some people. Go ahead, Joseph. could have talked to Miss Majesty about it. Mm -hmm. because, and the reason you can talk to Mrs. Majesty is because remember when you come in here, our sign, it's on the side this time, but it's in here. What you say in here, it stays in here. So remember, you guys, I know you know that, but that's the, one of the main reasons. It's really good to talk to Mrs. Majesty. And now you have me, right? So you could talk to Mrs. Majesty. What's something else we could do? Or could have done last week. Go ahead. Uh, I told Miss Anderson. Yes, school principal is also a good go-to. So those are all good answers. Um, also, so when you guys were talking about trying to distract that person or get them to talk about something else, they can also be identified as um, an upstander. So the by, that means you're a bystander when you were just standing off to the side, just witnessing what was happening. The moment you try to step in and help the person that's being bullied or the two people that are conflicting against conflicting with one another you become an upstander because now you're trying to help the situation anaya you had your hand raised oh i was going to say that um that if somebody like tries to like break them up or like mm -hmm. like you know stop the um consequences that they're having then somebody up then they're going to be the one that's going to get bullied on and say get away this is none of your business and so then what could happen that as the bystander, when you're trying to help and they don't want your help, you have options. What are your options? Um, to say, I'm sorry, I just wanted to help you out and go tell an adult. Correct. That is the perfect answer. You can, They are not obligated to accept your help, but, you know, at least you can say you tried to help, right? So now that we have all of that out of the way for the aggression part, how can we be better friends to one another? Because this is a group of friends. You guys are all friends, but you have conflict from one, from time to time, right? I'm gonna start with Chelsea, and then I'll go to you and I. Okay. So like being like a good friend is like where you like the person can trust you. Mm -hmm. So like that, if you need to talk about something, then talk to them, and then maybe encourage them to talk to somebody else about it. That's good. That's very good. So when it comes to bullying one another or um, 
saying mean things to one another or about one another how can we stop that so if molly comes to you chelsea and says oh anaya shoes are ugly today and i also don't like her hair you're all in the same group how can we combat that and not have that molly say like walk away i don't really hear it okay Stuff like that you could just say that like you know it doesn't matter just like focus on yourself that's really good should i get any right here I was going to see what she said. Oh, okay. I knew that I saw your hand out of the corner of my eyes, so I mm -hmm. wanted to make sure that I didn't miss anyone. Anyone else? Go ahead. Just like, so we're all in the same group, right? And we want to make sure that we're being very good friends to one another and not causing problems or not basically bullying one another because we're we're friends at the end of the day. So if someone in the same group comes up to you and says something about a different person, what could you say to that person? I could be like, just leave it alone, and then I'll walk away and tell like the teacher, or if the teacher don't wait, I will just tell the principal. That's good. Go ahead. Um, if somebody like comes up to me or somebody else and says um, something about anybody else, I would say. No, you shouldn't be talking about other people. Then I would walk away. Good job. Okay, any other concerns before we move on within the friend group? This is also a check-in point. So it's not just a, a time where we have our group and we talk about the aggression that the group experiences or all the fights between, you know, you guys and maybe other parties. We also want you guys to be able to get things off your chest and things that you're dealing with if you're comfortable sharing in front of the group. Is there anyone who needs to share or wants to say something? You guys don't have to. Just go ahead. Wait, does it have to be about the group? No. Never mind. Okay. So before we close, we have a poem here because we are remembering that we are all friends. Um, yes, we may argue or yes, we may fight, but at the end of the day, we are all still friends and we want to make sure we remain respectful of one another. So I'm going to start off the poem and then I'll pass it around this way and then it'll come back to me and I'll finish. Okay. Never, un never underestimate the value of a friend, someone who is loyal on whom you can depend. You might not always play with them. They play with others too, but when the chips are really down, they're always there for you. Molly, your turn. You start here. I once had such a friend. She was, the, she was the most amazing person. Her hair was red and wavy, and her name was Gwen Mac McPherson. McPherson. Until that point, in early in life, I didn't comprehend that life is nicer, safer when you share it with the friend. You see, there was this other girl who caused me great distress. She told such lies about me that my life was one big mess. Her whispers and her nasty gu give guides had long begun to haunt me. Then other girls and girls joined in. They too began to taunt me. Show her which paragraph for me, please. Thank you. It seemed no one could help me, and I felt so alone. Out the outdoor playground had become a dreaded comeback zone. And then one fateful day, while hearing jokes at my expense, G. Wen Mac Pearson jumped right in and came to my defense. It wasn't what she said that day or even how she said it. It took a lot of guts with, for which I'll always give her credit. The others looked, looked so very stunned and soon they crept away. My own relief was more than words can possibly convey. What, what is it? Let me see. Oh, her name is Gwen. So, with Gwen. With Gwen, my, um, but, but for I feel so much empowered. For a girl who used to bug me had became a nervous coward. When and I would scroll around my walking arm in arm, the 
the other girl for the in a hole and with sweetness in or and then I'll finish the poem. I'd been in such an awful funk and given up all hope. Then Gwen became my trusted friend and showed me how to cope. So never underestimate the power of a friend, someone who is loyal, on whom you can depend. So in this poem, Gwen was having issues, right? Are you Gwen? No, I'm not Gwen. But it said red hair. <laughs> Just oh, because I have red hair. No, in this story, I'm not Gwen. Um, I could be Gwen. Anyone could be Gwen because we all have friends. I thought you wrote the poem. No, I didn't write this. I wish this was hair. a this was a good poem. I wish, but no, anyone could be Gwen. Considering we all go through the situations with our friends where people talk about us, um, and then we find that one person who we can confide in, like you guys do with Mrs. Majesty and um, other adults that you're comfortable talking to, even even some of your friends. So, in this story. Any one of us could be going at any point in time, but what matters is that you find that person who helps you and you make sure you get it all out so that you don't take out your frustration or anger on someone else or the wrong person, right? We have any questions? So next, how do we plan to be better friends this week? Go for it. Everyone's gonna, how do you plan to be a better friend to your friends this week? Everyone start thinking. So you can basically, well, can I use it for the poem? Yeah, go ahead. So. Like, you can be, like, a friend to somebody by, like, being able to be someone that, like, they can lean on mm -hmm. or talk to. That's good. Go ahead. Um, by being a better friend, like, I should try to, like, be more responsible and nice to others. Good job. No, thank you. That's okay. How do you plan on being a better friend this week? Like, if I see one of them have a the frown, I'm going to just, like, make their day get cheered up. Something. That's good. You plan on cheering them up. That's good. Molly? Be nice. You'll be nice. That is very good. Your turn. How do you plan on being a better friend this week? That's nice. All right, girls. So this is the end no, of our group. I need to finish. <laughs> Um, and you guys are all good. We have nothing else. No one wants to get anything off their chest. We're all set. Go ahead.